Why would a black family, knowing that they are not wanted at a white restaurant, go to that restaurant, pay their hard-earned money, and eat food that was cooked out of their sight by someone who doesn't even want them there? Maybe they didn't know about the special sauce back then, but you would not catch me dead giving my money to someone who does not want me around, much less eating their cooking. What is this weird drive by black people to be accepted by other race groups, especially white people? No other race in the United States concerns itself so much with the opinions of an entire race group. It's understood that racists and supremacists do exist. But as a young black man who grew up in the States for most of my life, I know that we have all had ample evidence that most people are accepting of all races, regardless of their own race. Some of us have had white girlfriends, Asian girlfriends, Mexican girlfriends, best friends, and a growing number of us have even had half-white children. It is painfully obvious that individuals are to be treated as such, and inevitably will have varying opinions. Why does it bother us black people so much that some random white guy somewhere might not like us and hold racist opinions? Why would we force ourselves upon businesses and establishments that did not want our patronage? Why force our way into white schools that didn't want us there in the first place to then complain about how they are brainwashing, over-medicating, neutering, and, uh, and dumping us down? We had the option to build our own schools and restaurants and transportation systems. Sure, ours would have been far behind at first and it would have taken a huge amount of effort and time to catch up. But why give up on our own projects and assimilate ourselves into a group that expressed that it did not want this? All different race and ethnic groups in the U.S. have suffered from the effects of racism and continue to do so today. But unlike us, they have never stopped building and uplifting their own communities in the process of working around this racism. They build their own Chinatowns and little Italys, keeping the money circulating within their own communities. And now when you look at the numbers, many of these groups are actually doing almost as good, if not better than whites, financially at least in terms of individual earning power. Asian and West African immigrants, such as myself, end up earning more on average than whites do in the U.S. This is a major blow against the theory that racism holds ethnic groups back from creating wealth. The most peculiar thing about the civil rights movement of blacks in America is the term white supremacy itself. This term may explain this illogical drive to be accepted by whites because if you believe that any race is supreme, then you obviously can't beat them. So what choice do you have but to join them? This, I believe, is where we are at in the U.S. now. Blacks don't believe that they could build their own communities that can thrive and succeed independently, so they have resigned themselves to forcing white people to letting them into their own community and welcoming them as if they were their own children. You see, it's not racist to take care of your own first, and black people cannot cry bloody murder when white people or any other human being or even animal takes care of its own first and foremost before outsiders. This doesn't have to mean that they hate everyone else and feel superior to them. It's just biology and common sense. Black folks, I hate to break it to you, but we feed our own children first, our lovers next, then family and friends. We don't go around feeding groups of strangers. Stop asking white people to care about us as if we were their children. We aren't their children, and instead of focusing on what they say in, in their homes about us or how they feel about us inside, we should worry about rebuilding our own communities because we are sitting dead last in the world right now in terms of economic power. This is all that should really matter to us, not opinions and what some guy tweeted about black people.